Welcome to Eye on the Tigers News. I'm Ashley Clement. Thanks again for joining us today for the news we've been following for you. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly told Democratic lawmakers Wednesday that the United States will never construct a physical wall along the entire stretch of the U.S., Mexico border, and that some of President Donald Trump's campaign promises on immigration were uninformed. The comments put Kelly at odds with Trump who repeatedly said during his presidential campaign that he would build a border wall that Mexico would pay for, not the U.S., not U.S. taxpayers. Kelly's statement also reinforced the chaos and indece indecision over, immigration, over the immigration policy that has plagued the White House for several months since Trump announced the end of the Obamacare, the Obama-era program, protecting young immigrant dreamers in September. Trump responded with a tweet this morning, saying in part that there will be a wall. Apple is planning to build a new corporate campus and hire 20,000 U.S. workers in an expansion driven in part by a tax cut that will enable the iPhone maker to bring an estimated $245 billion back to its home country. The pledge announced Wednesday that Wednesday comes less than a month after Congress approved a sweeping overhaul of the U.S. tax code championed by President Donald Trump that will increase corporate profits. Besides dramatically lowering the standard corporate tax rate, the reforms offer a one-time break on cash held overseas. Most women would need to draw the line at two drinks, and men at two or three, if states follow a blueprint by a prestigious scientific panel for eliminating the, quote, entirely preventable, end quote, 10,000 alcohol-impaired driving deaths in the United States each year. The U.S. government commissioned report, report by a panel of the National Ec Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine made multiple recommendations, including significantly lowering drunken driving thresholds. It calls for lowering the blood alcohol concentration threshold from 0.08 to, point, uh, from 0.08 to 0.05. All states have 0.08 thresholds. The amount of alcohol required to reach 0.05 would depend on several factors, including the person's size and whether the person has recently eaten. The report cities studies indicating most women over 120 pounds would reach 0.05 after two drinks. Men weighing up to about 160 pounds would likely reach the lower threshold at two, and those over 180 pounds at three. Snow, ice, and a record-breaking blast of cold closed, run closed runways, highways, schools, and government offices across the south and sent cars sliding off roads Wednesday in a corner of the country ill-equipped to deal with wintry weather. At least 10 people died, including a baby in a car that plunged off a slippery overpass into a Louisiana canal. Durham, North Carolina saw a foot of snow. We're ready for a few changes in our weather. Here's Matt with the forecast. <laughs> We're in store for some changes in our weather beginning on Friday when we'll start to see temperatures moderate after some weak lake effect snow showers on Thursday. A more southerly pattern will take hold leading to high temperatures just above freezing. We could also see some sh sunshine during the day on Friday. It's on Saturday where, where temperatures get above freezing. Highs will be in the low 40s with some sunshine. Clouds return on Sunday but temperatures remain comfortable for this time of the year. Early indicators point to continued mild temperatures for Monday, but rain could lead to some isolated flooding. That's the forecast I'm Matt. Mexico dropped a tough league wrestling match to Phoenix last night. Here's Mr. Charbonneau with sports. First place Phoenix wrestling came into Mexico last night and quickly jumped out to an early and insurmountable lead on the way to its 50 to 31 win. With the loss, the Tigers dropped to 3 and 2. Senior Josh O'Reilly, Joey Reed, Jared Gates, and Jacob O'Reilly, well, they had pins from Mexico. The Lady Tigers basketball team remained winless on the season after falling last night to Jordan Elbridge. 
The Tigers were paced by Hannah Wells, who had nine points. Some football fans call it the best day of the year. The AFC and NFC will crown champions this summer, Sunday and a ticket to the Super Bowl. The upstart Jacksonville Jaguars will travel to top seed New England for a 3.30 kickoff. The game is on CBS, and it features the vaunted Patriots offense led by Tom Brady against the Jags' dominant defense. Over on the NFC, well, that game kicks off at 6.40 on Fox, with the Eagles hosting the Vikings. Both teams have relied on backup quarterbacks to get them to this point. Of course, the Super Bowl is in Minneapolis this year, and the Vikings are looking to be the first team ever to play the big game at home. The agent for former NBA star Dennis Rodman says the Hall of Famer has checked into an alcohol rehabilitation center after a weekend DUI arrest. Rodman, Rodman's agent Darren Prince tells the Associated Press that Rodman checked into Turning Point Rehab Center in Patterson, New Jersey on Wednesday to deal with his longtime struggle with alcoholism. Rodman was arrested in Southern California late on Saturday on suspicion of DUI after being pulled over for a traffic violation. Newport police say Rodman failed to field sobriety and breath test. That's all for sports today. I hope you have a great day. Do you have a coat, jacket, gloves, or boots that you can donate? The Mexico National Honor Society is collecting gently used winter apparel for donation to those in need. Please bring any articles to student services for collection by tomorrow. Junior and senior boys, please sign up in the main lobby near the practice schedule to play in the junior slash senior boys volleyball game on February 8th. Winner of the matches will play a faculty team. Do you have a special skill or talent? Sign up to audition for the variety show. We're looking for all kinds of acts. Auditions are January 29th to February 14th. Sign up sheets are outside Senora Bush's room 112. That's all for us today. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Ashley Clement. Have a great day.